Hey, everybody. Hello, everybody. At Fairboom, we're a data science company. It also happens to be a five-star customer service rated OTA. I'd like to begin by saying that at Fairboom, we imagine a world where low-cost carriers actually pay commission to online travel agents. A world where airlines and hotels acknowledge that there is more to gain in standing united than in being divided. Well, I think I forgot my clicker. A world where customer service is truly made great again. At Fairmont, we happen to believe that there is enough money in the travel world to go around for everyone. If we just stop wasting it on advertising that is inefficient and it doesn't convert, and instead we focus on what truly matters, and that is listening to our customers and truly serving their needs. At Fairmont, we did just that. We managed to increase our year-over-year -year revenue by 31%, while simultaneously cutting our year-over-year -year marketing spend by 33%. We achieved this by inventing technology that increases per user sales conversion by a factor of two and a half, while simultaneously we cut the user purchase journey from the average of 25 days to just 14. That is a 44% improvement, and we pay nothing for marketing. It's called microsensing. This technology proactively sends out to each individual the perfect flight itinerary at the perfect time. Here's how it works. For each user, we're constantly recording all of his interactions with our web and app to build a 50-point personalized user profile. We look at things such as his price sensitivity and range, travel dates and times, connecting airports, air and affinity. We even go as far as to predict his requirements to purchase checked bags. And we also look at the value of those extra legroom seats, particularly on long-distance flights, and much more. We then match those 50 data points to over 70 data points in our live flight results stream. These are tens of millions of matches per minute. So what does microsensing look like? It is an automated, personalized feed of itineraries and value messages. You see, because every individual is different, we invented personalized best value. What we know is that even bargain hunters, 50% of them, in fact, don't end up buying the cheapest itinerary. So what we wanted to do is, Pick one itinerary out of a thousand for each individual that most closely matches their microsensing profile. The result is the best value. It is the strategically positioned itinerary between the best possible price and the best quality. Now, our microsensing is assisted by our proprietary price prediction, which happens to be, as you can see, extremely detailed and highly accurate. Unlike our competition, we don't use price prediction just to offer price reassurance. We, in fact, use price prediction to identify underutilized international routes that GDSs and airlines miss. The result are lower fares. We also use price prediction to power what we call active search. Active search, with active search, we proactively search for users at the best times of day, that perfect itinerary, because we can sense in advance when the prices are going to change, so we can send to them accurate and timely notifications. Now, let me show you the impact of microsensing on the user purchase journey. I think we all know this picture right here. It is 30 days of searches, 30 days of searches, zero purchases. Now, compared to a microsensing engaged user, here I'm going to show you just how one timely and personalized notification turned a looker into a booker 
in just three days. This guy first came to our site on August 1st, ran a few searches, and set for himself what we call a manual fare alert. This is something you'd see on Kayak or Hopper. We actually sent him this price drop alert a few days later. He bought nothing. Then he returned on August 12th. This enabled us to complete his microsensing profile so that at 3 a.m. in the morning on August 13, we were able to send to him that personalized best value deal. He converted in just three hours. If we compare microsensing with manual failures, the ones you see on Hopper or Kayak, microsensing performs by one third better. One third. The Fairmont technology ecosystem not only increases per user conversion by a factor of two and a half, it also drives customer loyalty and it saves a ton of money in marketing cost. At Fairboom, we believe and we achieve because we listen and then we serve. If you want, by the way, five-star customer, a five-star Marco, partner, your time is up. Mike, up. let's see how the focus group thinks. Focus group, thumbs up, thumbs down. Okay, kind of split. Leaf, want to start us off with the discussion? I guess you're saying you built a better mousetrap and that you can get people to convert better. That's good, but how do they even know about you? How do you get them onto your site when you're competing with multi-billion dollar advertising budgets from all the traditional OTAs? Yeah, I was thinking along the same way of um, how does somebody become a fair boom customer to uh, uh, and is this, I, I wasn't quite clear, is this uh, a B2C or a B2B play that you're um, actually uh, offering here? And in, a, in addition to a customer acquisition challenge, maybe I know too much about how airlines pay or don't pay, but for the life of me, I cannot figure out how you could make money in this business, in this business knowing every kind of airline international, domestic, LCC, otherwise. For me, it was, a, it was back to the acquisition. I couldn't tell whether I needed to use uh, an app for you to get 50 personalized data points for me. And then uh, with the predictiveness of things, it, it felt like I'm, as a user, I'm probably still going to rank very highly with price uh, and convenience. And so a 3 a.m. fare alert is probably not going to be a buying indicator for me right off the bat. Uh, so I, I just kind of got lost in the presentation. Um, I like the, the concept of applying analytics to the clickstream behavior. In the hotel world, it could be interesting because the big chains collect that information about themselves, the clickstream behavior. And if you could apply that both historically and contemporaneously with the booking, you have the probability of improving conversion rates and reducing click costs. So I like the idea, but it might be better in another industry. But the users are coming to the hotel as a supplier, and I couldn't figure out how you're getting to Fairboom. Marco, I'm gonna throw you a lifeline. So uh, setting aside customer acquisition, I think there's a, a real win in the personalization piece of this. Uh, and I do believe uh, the, the direction of your numbers, that it does increase conversion and uh, engagement. Uh, to that extent, I, I see that as a win. Uh, if you can get the acquisition of the customer and get them engaged, I think you have something. I would totally yeah. agree as coming from a company that uses machine learning and AI to understand and present based on convertibility. Um, so I, I, think, I think there's tremendous amount of opportunity in the industry for companies like yours. So, so I'm going to be Pollyanna for right now. Okay, Pete, I, back over to you for rebuttal. Great. So we had some questions on customer acquisition, monetization strategy. Well, we already have half a million customers uh, per month. You know, we're a serious business. We've been in business for 18 years, so we didn't just pull this out of our hat. This has been, you know, under development for four years, this particular technology. We're highly profitable. I happen to own the business myself. Um, we have just, you know, purely black numbers, um, and we're making a ton of money with it. I'm not kidding. And we're here, actually, because we're just searching for a partner that will take it even further with us. Bye. Great. Thank you very much, Marco.